Hi and welcome to lesson 3 on programming and this lesson is called the philosophy of programming and how programming works. So let's get into the video. So before we begin, I just want to say that this is only a side lesson and it is aimed at giving you a deeper understanding about programming and how computers work. So if you do not fully understand everything that I'll be explaining in this lesson, do not worry, you can still carry on with the other lessons in the series. Remember, there is no test here, so you don't have to try and remember everything that I'll be explaining. I just want you to relax and soak whatever knowledge you can get from this. You don't even have to write down anything. I just want you to get a feel on how computers and programming works. To help you understand the concept of programming, I will use an acting analogy that I have developed myself. Based on the little knowledge that I have about acting, this is how it works. You get the script writer, the script, an actor, and then you get action. So the script writer writes the script, simple. The script has lines and actions that tell the actor what to do and say so that the play can tell a story. And based on the script, the audience can get the story and what is happening in the play. And now the actor. Taking away the actor's personality, she or he is just a blank person. The actor's job is to read the script, understand the actions, and then perform. So when we observe actors in plays, movies, or series, we are not seeing their true personalities and behaviors. We are seeing the work of the script at play. Excuse the pun. So let's take a closer look at the actor and the script writer. Suppose we have a script writer called Nganyiso and an actor called Karabo. Sonkanyiso is a traditional guy and he writes the script on paper and gives it to Garabo. Although she is an actor, Garabo has unique features and abilities that will not change regardless of whatever role she plays. So let us define some of these features. So we know that Garabo has arms and legs, she has brown eyes, she's medium height, she has a dark skin tone, she is athletic and she knows and speaks two languages which are Sesotho and English. So it is very important for the scriptwriter to know these features. Otherwise, the show will not go on because it might not be executed correctly or be acted poor. For example, the scriptwriter cannot write the script in Shitonga or Isizulu because Karabo can read and understand Sesotho and English. Shitonga or Isizulu will not make sense to her, and this can affect the quality of her play and the quality of her acting. Secondly, Garabo only has arms and legs, and not wings, so the script cannot have actions instructing her to fly. This will not make sense. Since we know that she is athletic, the script can include active actions for her to do. So, at the end of the day, the script needs to be aligned with Garabo's features and abilities. In summary, the script writer knows the end product of how the show must go. But since he is not an actor, he cannot perform the actions of the show. Even if he could act, he cannot be multiple characters at the same time. Therefore, he needs actors to make his vision, the play, come to life. So the key things to keep in mind from this example are the script writer, the script which is written in paper and given to the actor. Importantly as well is the language and grammar of the script. And another thing to remember is the actor who performs the instructions of the script. I want you to remember these because we are going to link this to programming. So in the same way that we have a script writer in acting, 
in programming you have a programmer which is you you are the programmer the script is the code that you write and where do you write the script we write the script in the Arduino software that we downloaded in one of our lessons and the actor in this case is the Arduino the Arduino is a device that reads your script and performs your desired actions as much as the scriptwriter needs to be aware of the actor's features, you also need to be aware of the Arduino's features as the programmer. For example, the Arduino has 13 input and output pins. So you can use pin 12 to perform a certain function, but you cannot tell the Arduino to use pin 15 to perform a certain function because it does not have pin 15. This will make the Arduino very confused and it will not do anything. This is when your software will crash. The same also applies with its memory. I will explain memory a bit later, but you cannot tell the Arduino to store something in its memory which is beyond its capacity. This will also cause your robot or your program to crash and your code or your software will not be executed correctly. The last thing I said you should remember is the language and grammar. Just like how in acting, the scripts can be written in English or whatever language that the actor can understand. Your code is also written in a unique language and grammar as well. For computers, grammar is referred to as syntax. Computers or robots also have multiple languages, just like us humans. So. As much as you can instruct someone to do something in multiple human languages, you can also instruct computers in various languages based on the language that the robot knows or understand. Since we are using the Arduino for the brain of our robot, the language we are using is called C. There are of course different languages available for different machines. You may hear of Java, Python, and C++. There are a lot and these are just the basic or the famous ones. You use these types of programming languages based on the machine that you are programming. So in summary, you write the script on the software that we downloaded for Arduino using C programming language. You then give the script that you've written to the Arduino. If the Arduino understands the language and you've used the correct grammar and syntax, the Arduino will be able to execute the actions that you have told it to do and your vision or your robot will come to life and do the things that you want it to do. Oh.